welcome back to my channel side hustle seattle so as you can tell from the title of the video i am officially commissioned to be a notary public in the state of colorado so if you haven't watched my last few videos and you probably don't know i recently temporarily moved to denver and i figured i'd get commissioned while i'm out here so i wanted to go through what that process was like just in case you're also living in colorado or thinking about moving to colorado and wanted to be a commissioned notary public so we'll talk about what the process looked like how much it cost etc etc you know the drill so let's go ahead and just get right into it so the base base level requirement for becoming a notary in the state of colorado are you need to be 18 years or older you need to reside in colorado or have a business in colorado no felonies misdemeanors never had a commission revoked to be able to read and write english that's pretty standard across most states um, I think one of the good things in Colorado is you actually don't need a surety bond like I did in Washington. I needed a $10,000 surety bond. You actually don't need that in Colorado at all. The four things you do need though in order to apply is you need a signed affirmation. Um, you need to have a copy of your ID. You also need to take a training and you need to take an exam. So we'll go ahead and go into each one of those so that way you know exactly what they look like just in case you want to follow along. So first thing I started with was the ID. That was the easiest part. So I actually ended up getting a Colorado driver's license because my Washington one was expiring anyway. So I just used that as my ID. Um, but even if I didn't have that, I could have used my US passport. So let's say you're like me, and you're getting a dual commission and you don't wanna switch your driver's license over. You don't need to, you can just use your passport if you have one. So things, some of the documents you can use and I'll put a picture up so you know exactly what you can use. You can use a passport, a Colorado driver's license, a military card, and even if you're not a US citizen, um, you can use um, proof of permanent residence or a employment authorization document. So there's a lot of options when it comes to it. They just have you photocopy the front and the back of it um, and upload it with the application. I actually photocopied a copy of my driver's license. I also just took a picture of it, the front and back, and uploaded that as a PDF alongside it, just in case. I didn't want any hiccups or whatnot. I know sometimes when you scan a document through, it's just not as clear. So I just put both of those together when I submitted my application. So the next thing I did was the training exam. So that's definitely different than Washington. Washington has no required training exam that you need to do. Um, but the good thing is it's free. So it's linked directly in um, the instructions on how to apply to be a notary. And I'll just link it in the description so you don't have to go finding it, everything. Um, but there's a free exam that the state of Colorado offers. They'll also give a list of other places you can go to take an exam if for whatever reason you didn't want to take theirs, uh, but I would recommend it because again, it is free. It's like seven different modules. Each module is projected to take like 20 minutes. Honestly, it, it's gonna take you like five minutes a module. No rush, of course, take your time, make sure you know the information. But if you've been a notary in another state, it's all pretty familiar stuff. There actually isn't a ton of variance between Washington and Colorado, I found, uh, except some like slight stuff. But anyways, you can go ahead and you can take that. You can go through each module. It actually is a pretty good notary course. There's these little quizzes at the end of each one. Um, and once you're completely done with it, it's gonna give you this certificate. Now you have to print out that certificate because it's going to make you upload it when you submit the application. But really that's all for the training. Next thing I did was the exam. So similar to the training, it's all on the computer, it's all free, which was convenient, um, but again, different than Washington because Washington didn't make you do an exam, but that's fine. If you're wondering like, why do I keep mentioning Washington? I'm also commissioned in Washington, just for the people who may be clicking on this video or seeing my channel for the first time. Um, but anyways, yeah, so the exam is actually only 40 questions. It is directly from the training itself. Um, so I do recommend definitely taking the training um, before you take the exam or take some sort of training before you take the exam, you have to anyway. Um, but the it's 40 questions, it's not timed, it's open book. Um, so they make it very easy for you to pass it and you only have to pass with 80%. So I think that's like 32 questions out of 40 that you have to get right in order to pass it. Um, and you can take it as many times as you need to. So once you pass it, again, you'll just download the certificate because you will need that for your application. Don't forget to download it. Even if you don't, you can go back um, and find that certificate again. So don't worry if for whatever reason you exit out, you have to create an account in order to get into the learning modules in the exam anyway. So you can always go back um, and grab those certificates if need be. Okay, so the last thing I needed was the affirmation. And honestly, that was 
the most difficult part for me. And it's not because it's actually difficult. It's like a single document um, that you just need to put your like notary commission name. You need to swear or affirm to the fact that you've read the law. You're going to uphold it, et cetera, et cetera. And you need to get the document notarized. What made it difficult was the fact that it had to be notarized by somebody commissioned in the state of Colorado. So typically what I've done, or at least what I did when I got commissioned in Washington is I just went to notarize and did it. Um, and you know, in this case, I was going to do the exact same thing or hit up somebody I know um, to do the notarization, but I couldn't. And so I had to Google, you know, notaries in Colorado. And I wanted somebody who was a remote online notary because <clears throat> my current schedule made it a little bit hard um, to do somebody mobile. And I don't know what it was about the search engine. I don't know what it was, but like there was no remote online notaries popping up for me in Colorado. I must not have been searching right, um, but I had to go with somebody mobile. And so I looked at mobile notaries Colorado, saw a good amount of people pop up, but like the first four people I called were charging so much. It was so much for me, essentially. It was $60 for them to come and notarize this document, which by all means, get your money. You just not get it for me. Uh, that's a lot for me for a document I know is going to take two minutes. And when I know you only live two miles away from me, like there's no way. And so uh, I just kept searching, searching, and I finally found somebody um, that could come at a convenient time, that could that charge something reasonable. And the cool thing is they actually had seen the channel before. So that was kind of awesome getting a chance to talk to him. His name was Philip. I'm actually just put his information on the screen. I thought he was great. He didn't ask me to give him a shout out, but why not? If you do good work, I think you should be recognized for it. So I ended up getting um, that all filled out. And then I finally could upload all of my stuff to the actual application itself. So once I had all of my documents ready to go, I was good to actually submit the application. So all you do is you go and you create an account. It's pretty straightforward. It has you put your name, password, email, basic information. Um, and then I'll have you upload each document one at a time. So it'll be like, you know, upload your ID, upload your training certificate, upload your affirmation, upload your exam, et cetera, et cetera. And then in order to actually submit the application, it's going to have you um, go ahead and pay $10. So $10 just to submit the application, which is not bad at all. Um, it's cheaper than what I did before, so happy to do it. No lie, it was the quickest process I've ever had in my life. So I submitted it, I procrastinated a lot on getting commission. I'm not gonna lie, I was supposed to do it weeks ago, um, but I finally got around to it. I submitted it on August 11th at 11.50 a.m. August 12th at 7.55 a.m. I get an email saying it was approved. So in less than 24 hours, I got commissioned to be a notary. So if you're in Colorado and you're looking to become a notary and you're like, oh, I just don't wanna go through the process, it's gonna take that long, it's so quick, like <laughs> it's not even, you don't even have to think about it. And it's only $10 and everything else you need is free. Of course, you'll need like the journal, the stamp and things like that. But as far as just like the base, base, basics, you can get it all done in 24 hours. And I mean, literally every part of it. So that was really nice. So now I am officially commissioned in the state of Colorado. Um, next thing for me is just getting uh, bronze certified, which also you need another affirmation. I'm just like, Right. So you need another affirmation document, um, but I think I'm actually going to go to just like UPS this weekend um, to get it done uh, because I have some time and then you need to take a training, a RON training, provide your provider, all of that. Of course, once I actually get RON certified here, I'll give you the update, all of that, like I did this video. But yeah, let me know what you think. What do you think about the process? If you're in Colorado, any questions about anything? Um, are you surprised at how quickly it was? I was definitely surprised. I was expecting it to take 30 days because that is what my Washington one took. And that's what a lot of pe uh, people take in different states. But happy that it was only the less than 24 hours. I'm hoping the Ron one is also less than 24 hours. And then we can get rocking and rolling. Um, and I can keep you guys posted as I go on this journey in the great state of Colorado. Well, anyways, thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to leave them in the comment section and I will catch you in the next video. Ooh. Yeah.